I have to, I have to ask you, I know everyone's talked about this. Uh, your Ig Nobel yes. Award has kind of overshadowed this. Yeah. Uh, well done. Thank you. I will say, I say well done because obviously these dung beetles have captured the imagination of the global media for yep. quite a while. What is it about these tiny creatures? Uh, I think it's because they've got such personalities actually. They've, uh, they, they've, each of them, they're quite large and each of them seem to behave as an individual and they have this funny behaviour where they roll balls of dung around on the ground and you can manipulate them and make them do funny things. So I think most people can really uh, as associate with a kind of more humorous side of it, uh, even though it's serious research. I mean, it is it is serious research, but this was sort of a lighthearted event. Tell, tell us just a little bit about uh, how, when you received this award, what happened? Well, it was a, a kind of a musical uh, uh, comedy show from start to finish. It was about two hours long and there was paper aeroplane throwing and lots of uh, songs and music and we all got our awards from previous Nobel Prize winners at, at, in a packed auditorium at Harvard University. So it was quite spectacular, the whole thing, and it was good fun. Um, and so now we're all wondering, because obviously Lund University still hasn't uh, received a real Nobel Prize, so are you working on something uh, to, in that direction for us to get a Nobel Prize? I fear we aren't. Uh, we, don't have, we don't do the kind of research that's traditionally covered by the Nobel Prize, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, well, uh, let's hope someone else can grab that. Um, now, we've been asking all our speakers today, um, you know, the theme obviously being innovation, how they define innovation in their own words. What would you say to that? Well, that's an interesting question. For me, innovation is all about basic curiosity-driven research. That's where I feel most innovative. Not because it results in a, in a device of any kind or a technology, but mostly because it unravels some of the secrets of the animal kingdom. And those in turn can uh, lead to new devices and, and technical innovation. So I think I think of my innovative side as more being on the biological side, understanding how evolution has been an innovator.